Hi there, it's Donna from Tuffy Crafting and today I'm going to be using some brand new product um, that I've not used before. We're going to be using Peony Garden DSP and I'm also going to be using Monogram Messages, um, a stamp set that I acquired only a week ago. Um, and I really wouldn't have taken much notice of it had my lovely friend from Car uh, Crafty Karen Designs hadn't used it and now I want to give it a whirl. So I'm going to be making a card from the 33 sketches challenge. So this is um, some sketches that are that we found on Pinterest. There are 33 of them and myself, Vicky Lou Designs and Crafty Karen Designs. We are going to use all 33 of them over the coming months. Um, so I'm going to be, for the sketch that I'm going to do, all of the details are on my blog. This is going to be a very short tutorial, um, but all of the measurements and everything, the product links, all on my blog. And there is a link to that particular blog post in the description bar. Let me just quickly show you um, this Peony Garden DSP. It's pink and grey. Just pink and grey. And I love it. This is petal pink with white. This is... Um, probably smoky slate with white and we've just got peonies in various stages of bloom so this is the one I'm going to be using today and I'm going to be using both sides of it so this is very light brown on here more grey peonies in petal pink more grey. This is lovely. I just really love this. And look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. And all it needs is a pop of colour. And we've got that, that marbled look on that one. So let me show you what I've done with this. I've got everything already pre-cut. Um, all the measurements are on my blog. So I've got a card, a white card base. You can use any, any colour card base. But this measures 11 and 3 quarters by four and an eighth. Score it on the long side at five and seven eighths and then just with a bone folder just burnish that fold line there. I then got some petal pink cardstock. Petal pink comes from the Suttles collection. Um, I always buy cardstock in colour collections. I don't buy it um, singly um, in just colour packs. I buy them in the colour collections. So petal pink is in the Suttles and I'm just sticking this on with liquid glue. And I love this technique when making cards, it's just layering it all up. So as you go from beginner card making to becoming an intermediate card maker and you become more confident, then just start layering up your card. So that measures four inches, I've got it all written down, covered it up, four inches by five and three quarters. I've then taken that DSP and that measures three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And I'm just going to layer that onto there. So if you've never heard of these sketches before, go on Pinterest and just go on sketch challenge or sketches. Um, sketches for card making. So I'll show you the sketch that I was using for this particular project in my blog post and then you'll see how how I got to it but it's really good if you've got no idea what to make as, as far as a card is concerned just go on to sketch challenge or card um, sketches for card making and then you'll find an abundance of ideas. So I've used the other side of this and this measures one inch by three and seven eighths. And you just choose wherever you're going to put it. Um, I've decided to go centrally with that. I'm not going to overthink it. And the pink with this grey is just lovely. I said I was going to go central and I've actually gone slightly lower than central. Doesn't matter. I've then got some basic grey from the Neutrals collection, basic grey card. And I'm just going to put that just in the centre there. But again, it doesn't matter.
but I think as far as that's concerned I think I want it to lay centrally over over that strip now let me show you what I've done with the monogram messages stamp I've taken um, I've taken this celebrate and I've also taken these here and in basic grey I've stamped celebrate onto a piece of petal pink cardstock and I've just stamped those flowers on there. Now what I've used for that is the basic grey was punched out in a two and a quarter circle punch and then the petal pink punched in the um, two inch circle punch. And as you can see, I did stamp on the other side and I got a mark on my stamp because I stamped too hard into the ink. Now, I'm going to mount these with mini dimensionals. Now, this, the whole of this kit here that I've used, I'm actually going to put on my Facebook page and come and find me at Taffy Crafting. And a link is on there for all of the bits that you've used on here. So the circle punches, the paper trimmer, and the ink and the stamp set. And when you click on that link, it takes you straight to the checkout of my shop. And you can, it would put everything, all of these things in your basket. And then you can just remove things as and when you, when you want to, depending on what you've already got. But it does make a nice starter kit with the trimmer, the circle punches, and the cardstock um, and and the paper uh, and the white cardstock sorry then what I did is I took the small blooms punch and I punched out still using this DSP so one sheet of six by six it comes in 12 by 12 but it's been cut down to six by six so it just takes one piece of six by six of this DSP and just with the scrap I then cut out or punched out two flowers with that and I'm just going to stick them together with glue there's just a little blob of glue in the middle of that and then I'm just going to lay that on top whoops I need tweezers for this because I can be really clumsy with this sometimes. I just want them to be slightly off center. And then just press that down. Now what that needs is some bling. And somewhere in here, in my little embellishments drawer, is I have the matching embellishments for this DSP. And I wish I'd got them out before I started filming because now I can't find them. There they are. So these are elegant faceted gems and I want to take, that doesn't belong on there, that's got stuck from something else. I should have had these out ready and I totally forgot. I just want to take one of these off it's kind of a pinky colour and just pop that on there like that and then using another dimensional put that on the back of your flower and I'm going to put that on there now on the original sketch um, that I downloaded from Pinterest this bit here was a circle but I haven't got a smaller circle. The smaller circles have been um, retired from stamping up. So instead of a circle, I've gone for a flower. That is super simple to make. When you've got things like this enabling you to make perfect circles, um, then it's, it's so easy to put together a card like that. So I hope you like it. All the measurements are in my blog. The blog post, there's a link to that down below. If you like this video and want to see more, come and hit the subscribe button. Um, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon for another tutorial. See you then. Bye bye.